guys, you might have seen in a couple of videos, I like to play with the gi a lot, either my gi or my opponent's gi or my belt or his belt. You've got a nice move I use from side mount a lot. It totally messes your partner up. It's very frustrating for him. So when I have John down the side mount, what I want to do is my arm's underneath his head, and this is what I'm looking for. His form is underneath my throat. This is actually a good sign that I'm going to go for my move. I'm going to fish his gi out, okay? and then I'm going to loop it over top his arm. Now, it's kind of like he's got a sling. Like if he hurt his arm, we put him in a sling. This is perfect. It's over his elbow, so it's, it's nice and strong. He's going to get caught here. And then I can start working my chokes. Or my choke. Now you got to be careful, you're not turning into a neck crank, it's not a very pretty choke, but it is a choke. So, again, I have my position, his forearms underneath my neck. My choke. Now, sometimes, I'll change this one up a little bit, if the gi comes over top his wrist, okay, so I didn't get his elbow and his wrist gets free, so if I grab John here, his hand can come out sometimes, because he'll work it out. It's perfect, I want it out. I don't actually like the other choke, because I find it a little bit rough on the throat. So if I'm here, and if I can, I'll go over his wrist. Now my right hand is underneath, and I'm gonna let John pull his arm out, and when he pulls it out, my other hand goes in. Now, I know I said the other one is kind of rough, so is this one, but at least this one's on the blood, on the crowd artery, not on the, on the windpipe. So from here, action on belly and you jam your fist into his neck so again not the prettiest choke but it is a surprisingly effective move and what you want to do is you want to time it you want his arm to come out so when this hand is in i actually lift it up to let that arm out and then punch this hand in now you're going to do this choke from a lot of different spots so go and have some fun and play with it so from here now the one thing I will do as a warning for you guys, try not to play with the gi too much if it's really tucked in. Don't force it out. So if this gi is really inside John's belt, it's just like the match has started. If we're here and I keep playing with it, there's a good chance John's gonna work his escape and before I can do anything, he's gonna get out or he'll counter attack me. So be very mindful. Don't be just playing with the gi. Keep a good position and slowly work it out. Keep your position. Slowly work it out. Keep a position. Stay on top of the guy. And then when you feel you have enough material, then go for your move. But if you try going too hard at the beginning, there's a good chance he's actually going to counter you and get an escape or recover his guard. And that's all nasty stuff. Now, the one nice thing is I'm going to throw this in as a super bonus move. Is uh, I love doing this choke in one particular spot, but be mindful about getting in trouble, like I was saying, from his guard. Now. Definitely, I have to be on a, a high alert here. If I'm not careful, John's gonna cross choke me. And this did happen once when I was in uh, Toronto. I was uh, choking a brown belt with this. He was choking me with the cross choke and we both kind of fell to our side and just did the little, almost a sleep kind of thing. We both kind of just tap almost at the same time and put us both out more or less, right? So, gotta be very careful. That's why you wanna be playing here because if I'm playing with this while he's getting his grip, she's gonna win. So what I want to do, I'm going to put this collar up and I'm going to throw it around John and grab behind his head. This hand goes underneath, right here, and sit back. This, I have several things to go off this and I can, I'm going to show you in another video how to set this one up. Super great move, but it's just like the side mount. So I throw it up, I catch it, hands underneath, hand on the other side and I sit back and extend my arms. So have some fun, play with this one, watch out for getting cross choke there, and make sure you don't miss my other video on how to choke a guy from inside his own guard. It's madness, and there's lots of great things you do to set up. Okay? Have some fun, guys.